Welcome back everybody, it's great to see you here, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Jay Yudlovsky, and here we talk about DaVinci Resolve, Photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing. So if you're into any of those things, consider subscribing to my channel. And in this video, we're going to be talking about audio subgroups. I'm going to tell you what it is, how to set one up, and why you might want to be using one. So let's jump into the video. We all love DaVinci Resolve and here in the Fairlight tab, they got a great set of tools to really take our audio to the next level. So one of those tools that we can use is a subgroup. So a subgroup is basically a group of audio channels. You can put as many channels as you want into the group or as little as you want. You need at least two, otherwise you don't need a group, right? So you want to take a few channels and you want to put them in a group. So why might you want to do that? Let's say you've got two different vocal tracks and you've adjusted the faders for each track individually so that both tracks play back at your desired volume or desired level. Now, let's say that you needed to raise or lower the volume of both tracks at the same time. So instead of taking each slider and trying to move one, you know, the same amount on each side, you could put both of these channels into one group, which would allow you to adjust the vo overall volume of those two channels while still keeping the relationship of those two channels the same. So it might sound a little confusing, but let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you exactly how this works and you're going to see how helpful it can be for you. So let's jump into Resolve and check it out. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve and the Fairlight tab and this is where we're going to do all our audio work. I've already gone ahead and put in some audio tracks here from a recent multi-track recording that I did of our church uh, worship band. And as you can see here, I've got three vocal tracks and then I have four instrument tracks. I have a bass, a keys left, keys right, and a guitar. As I've already mentioned, a subgroup is a group of channels. So we can take any channels we want and put them together in a subgroup. The first thing I want to do is set the faders on my four instrument channels over here to make a good mix, to blend together nicely, to sound the way I want it to sound. And then we're going to go ahead and create a subgroup. So I'm going to play through. I'm going to bring in each instrument to a level that I think sounds good. And then we'll go on to the next instrument. Okay, let's say that I like that, that sounds good. So now my subgroup is gonna allow me to control the volume of all four of these channels together without having to touch the individual faders. So this way I've got my relationship set between all my channels, it sounds good. I just might wanna raise and lower the volume as a whole, but not touch the individual faders. So to create a subgroup, we come up to the Fairlight tab at the top here. I'm gonna click on Bus Format. And here we have our main output that contains all of our audio for the entire project. In order to create a subgroup, you come up here, click on sub, and that's gonna add a subgroup down here. We can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it sub one for now, but you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna make it a stereo subgroup, and then I'm gonna click okay. And if I come down here and drag out my mixer panel a little, you see now we have another group called sub one. In order to add our channels into that subgroup, you want to scroll down here in your little mixer area up top and you see we've got different numbers. We have our main mix. So that's is the channel going to our main output. And here right now you see all of them go to the main output. So for the channels that we want to be in our subgroup, you want to uncheck the main output because we already have the subgroup going to the main output. We don't want these also going to the main output. Now in the submix, we want to take the bass, keys, and guitar, and we want them to go into the subgroup. So down here is our subgroup. And you can see we can click these on and off, and you want it to be clicked on. And what that tells Resolve is, take all these channels and send it over to this subgroup one. Now, when I adjust the fader on subgroup one, it'll adjust the volume of these four channels, but it will keep their relationship to each other like I've already set it in the individual faders. So let me just play through a little and I'll just show you how I can raise and lower the volume here using the subgroup. So there you go. You can see I didn't have to touch the individual faders. I only used the subgroup 
to raise and lower the volume as a whole because I already had a good mix and I didn't want to change that. So you may run into a problem where you move your subgroup slider, but it doesn't seem like it's doing too much. If you accidentally leave the main group checked on here for the channels in your subgroup, this is what'll happen. See, I've turned it all the way down, but we still hear it. Now you do notice when I raise it, you get more volume out of it. So you gotta remember to uncheck the main mix there for your tracks. So you can have a, a bunch of different subgroups. So let's say I also wanted to create a subgroup for our vocals. So let's go back up to the Fairlight tab, bus format. I'm gonna add another sub. This one's gonna be vocals, stereo. And I'm gonna change this color to, ah, uh, let's do violet. Let's say, okay. So see here, we've got the vocal channels and we have number two selected. Now, just like we did here, you wanna uncheck the main mix. So I'm gonna mute my subgroup here so we can listen to the vocals and see how those sound. And I'm just gonna bring them up, get a good relationship between each other, and then we can adjust our subgroup. And if I pull this out a little, you see there's our vocal subgroup hiding over there. So let's play the vocals here. We'll get them adjusted. It's free I'm a child of God. Yes, I am in my father's house. There's a place for me. Okay, let's say I like that mix. So now I can just leave them where it's at. And if I adjust my vocal subgroup, we can change the volume, but keep the relationship of our faders on the individual channels consistent. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Now you don't just need to use this for mixing music or a band. You can do this with vocals, with effects, with multiple effects, multiple tracks of effects, multiple tracks of effects and music, any combination of audio you can add into a submix. So that way you can set your relationship of the tracks to each other and then adjust the overall volume of all those tracks together without disturbing the relationship between them. All right, so there you go, how to create a subgroup here in DaVinci Resolve. And it can be super helpful as you've seen. And uh, hopefully maybe this is something that you might be able to use. And if not, hey, keep it in your tool bag because you never know, down the road you might need it too. So thank you guys for watching. If you're into DaVinci Resolve, photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.